Once you are ready for your site to be visible, you'll want to hit the publish option. When I click on publish, you can actually select the address for your site. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do engaged test site. It'll check and see whether or not that's available. You can make it visible just to people that have an msdsc.us account. So it's within your corporation uh, or school district that you are in, or you can make it open to the web, depending on however you want people to view it. I'm gonna go ahead and just keep this within my district because I don't necessarily want this one open to the web. You also have the option of whether or not you want your site to appear in search results. So it indexes it. Uh, this makes it more visible to Google. So when someone searches Google, if they wanna find your site, then it will actually pick it up. If you don't select it, then it won't appear in search results. So you wanna keep that in mind. How visible do you want it to be? Do you want visitors from outside of your school district visiting your site regularly that are not related in any way, then you would select that. If you want to just keep it between your, you and your families or your students, then you would probably select anyone on the web so that way families can view it and then you would publish it. Depends on your purpose. I'm going to go ahead and hit publish. Once I am done, then a drop down arrow appears. You can always change your publish settings. You can also view your published site and you can also unpublish it. So if I hit my publish settings, I can see the address and change that address and go back to the original situation that I set for my publishing. So you can always go back and make those changes if you want to. I'll click on view published site. And as you can see, it took my address. So now it says sites.google.com slash msdsc.us slash engaged test site. It makes it very nice that you can customize your URL like that. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the X to go back. And I'm gonna click the down arrow and you also have the option of unpublishing it. So if you are making changes to it and you don't want anyone to see those changes, you could unpublish it so that way it's not available anymore. All right, and that's a little bit about how to publish your website.